Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here. Welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 PvP weapon showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the War Pick, recommended by lots of you in the comments. Uh, the Hammer class isn't something I use very often, other than the Mace for Perseverance, but other than that, I don't use Hammers too much. The Reinforced Club is kind of fun, but I never see anybody use the War Pick. So, uh, I have it on a Strength build here. You can actually use it on a Dexterity build, I believe, and Elemental it might do uh, good as well. But what I'm going for is the thrust damage boost with a Leo Ring is basically the setup that I'm going for. So I'm really tanky, built for trades. Uh, hammers have pretty decent hyper armor that can tank. Most weapons of lighter class, like straight swords, katanas, spears, certain things like that, I think I can't tank a halberd. I do have a lot of poise to make up for it, and I'm pretty sure I hit every breakpoint up until like halberds, but I don't think I'd be trying to trade with them anyways. Maybe not their heavy attacks, but we shall find out in the arena. Uh, so yeah, I have 66 strength to maximize the damage because it's a heavy war pick. I'm tanky with good vitality, good uh, vigor and endurance. And then I have tears of denial for further survivability. This armor set is for the poise. It also, I kind of like the Faram Helm with the Gundir's chest I've been using it lately. And then I threw on the Havels to have better poise. Uh, my rings are Prisoner's Ring of Favor, Life Ring. And then my fourth ring always switches. I'm probably, like I said, going to go for the Leo Ring because all of this thing's attacks are actually thrust attacks. So if I do trade with somebody like they have a, a lighter weapon and I'm able to trade. I'll, I'll get the thrust counter damage. I don't know if you guys know this, but when you swing your weapon, let me try to explain. Look at the thrust absorption that I have, right? I have uh, 28 on my armor. Now, if I quickly R... Oh, I gotta do this faster for you guys. If I R1, I have to have that open. See how it goes down to six during my swing? Because when you're actually swinging your weapon, you I, I think it's counter frames or something. I forget what it's called vulnerability frames when you're swinging your weapon if you get hit your thrust absorption goes down because you're vulnerable while swinging so if you trade with someone with a thrust weapon during that you're going to receive a lot more damage because your absorption is so low and then add that to the leo ring boosting the counter damage and it, it makes it insane so it's really good with this weapon if you maximize the trades on weapons that you can trade with and that's the plan uh yeah there's the build up you want to check it out i, I kind of reallocated my main strength build because I don't need dexterity for this at all, other than 10, but the knight starts with 12, so yeah. It's got the same moveset as most hammers, I think. The regular uh, two-handed R1, what's the regular one look like? Just the side to side. Not the best, because you lose any type of hyper armor, but you can combo it with certain weapons. Not the Cestus, but you can mix it up with rapiers. The R2 I probably won't use, unless like I'm able to really bait someone in a trade. And the weapon art is galvanized, so it actually increases your stamina regeneration. That's pretty cool for pressure. You can stay on them the whole time trying to force them into trades. I'm gonna try my best. I don't play this way all the time, but I think I can pull it off. And yeah, let's go into the arena, boys. All right, round one, we have a blue. <laughs> Let me just cast my tears quick. And then, you know, we'll go for this. We got MK Andy, Z. Are wanting the air for some unknown reason with a crossbow. Did he load the crossbow yet? I couldn't tell. I want to try to get some trades in, but he's going to play kind of passive with the straight sword, so. Oh, he's only using lightning bolts? That's kind of honest. Kind of too honest, but. Do you get. Oh, I wonder if you get the vulnerability frames shooting the crossbow, too. Or if it's only when you're swinging a weapon. Not sure, to be honest. This is kind of good though. We're untouched so far. We did insane damage. As I uh, get touched. Oh, that was the counter strike, dude, during the swing. Good fight, man. I didn't even have the Leo ring on. I didn't have time to change it between the, the, the attack and when he hit me. Good fight, though, man. Alright, on to the next battle. That first blue dude was chill. Can I not forget to drink my Ashen? Cold green eyes. Hello, dude. What's up, man? Uh, oops, I keep forgetting that I have this in my offhand. Alright, sir. What do we got? Katana running attacks? I can actually appreciate the katana gameplay, though. It's pretty rare. No one really uses a katana. I also can appreciate the outfit, homie. Very cute. Very cute indeed. Why can't I lock on? I guess the elevation of the stairs did that. Go. One. Two. Three. Oh my god, the damage is insane, actually. Wow. I cannot believe I did that much damage. Good fight, man. This is actually a pretty good weapon. I guess we have unembered health, though, also, so it kind of, kind of throws me off. 
Oh, and we're back here. I guess the arena favors us. Whoa! Snorri, hello! <laughs> hello, Snorri. I actually don't get the map that we had right before this one too much. Um, okay, we're good to go, yeah. I forget what it's even called, the like, the hallway area, the ruined one. Oh my god, Snorri. You're in a blender right now. I don't know why I didn't roll, but <laughs> it's okay. Yaw. I want to try to use the heavy. <laughs> Not worth it. The heavy's so damn slow. Okay, let's use Galvanize. Let's get our... We should just always have our, our stam getting better. Key, yaw. We'll go for the heavy. Oh, a heavy hit, dude. Good fight, man. Good fight. Okay, hey, a moose. If your name isn't Elliot, my disappointment will be immeasurable. Ah, disappointment immeasurable. Can I stack this with my weapon art? <gasps> Is that a thing? I didn't even think about that. Whoa. He needs to be gliding. Where can I get that kind of... This moose has skates. One. He didn't fall for it. One, two, spam, and then roll catch. Oh, one more. Here we go. Cool. Goodbye, Mr. Skating Moose. Good fight, though. Good fight, too. All right, on to the next bout of the night. Oh, whoa, 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 that was weird. I've never ran right out of that spawn. That was really weird. Hello, Nathan. How's it going, man? Uh, let's put this on, and yeah, we're not swapping our weapon. Weapon showcase, my brain. <laughs> Hello, Nathan. How's it going, man? Exile. Honestly, Exile has some very deceptive range. I gotta watch out. It's actually hard. What about an R2? I was wondering if that mixes up well enough, but... I don't know. I feel like the R2's on this. What about the jump attack? Do hammers get, like, R1 into jump attack or something? Probably not, huh? I don't think, at least. Oh, that was cool. I'll try for you guys. I don't think so, though. But I remember the the reinforced club having something like that. Could be wrong. Well, I mean, I didn't even get to hit the R1, so, like... Yeah, there's that. Oh, clean, dude. That was clean as hell, actually. So clean. I'll die in two hits anyway, so... Aw, oh, good fight, Nathan. Good fight, man. That was solid. I don't think so, though, right? Guess I'm wrong. What got that? Great hammers get that? I feel like the Reinforced Club gets that, though. Might be wrong. Okay, okay. We apparently are getting this map every time today. Not that I'm complaining, just very intrigued. Hello there, Ocean. How's it going, man? Aw. So wholesome, he actually gestured. Hello, man. Ooh, that's a bum. <gasps> it's a denied bum. <laughs> but then he fell off the cliff. I'm coming, dude. You don't have to run around, it's okay. I'm here. Well, that's gotta be a bum. I'm being denied so much butt. It hurts my soul. <laughs> okay. Let's go for trade. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. And it actually worked. Okay. One, two. Good fight, man. Good fight. There we go. That's a nice map change. I need to start remembering to drink the blue. Oh my god, it's a Havel. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> That's actually so cool. What? Oh! Okay, fair, fair. You weren't expecting me to gesture. I don't think I can outpoise Havel. So we're not gonna try that. We're just gonna. Ugh, we're just gonna eat the damage, is what we're gonna do. Okay, well, I mean, Leo Ring might actually not be that useful anymore. Because his uh, vulnerability frames will be gone. Okay, well, GG. By the time he's done the swing and I can't trade with it, so. Good fight, though, man. That was a full Havel cosplay. Shield and everything, dude. Wow. Like, I know how to have fun. I like him.
Oh, and then we go into the arena. Wait, I have the wrong ring on. Oh, boy. Oh, oh I actually like his dual setup, dude. Yorm's machete and a spear. Huh. That's something. Fork and knife. Haha. <laughs> I get it. Fork knife. Let's get this in here. Okay. The shockwave is there, and then he has the range of the spear, so... I gotta think this through. It's gonna be hard to trade with that. And then he could try to go for the rolling backstab. It's a really good setup. If this thing could only handle the the poise of the one-handed axe. Although, I could space it like that. Every time we're pretty good to go, but an offhand machete, if you guys are looking for a good dual setups, it's up there, man. It's up there. Oh, the R2 has deceptive range. My god. This thing is performing so much better than I thought it ever would. That was good. I didn't read that one. It's hard to get in there. Now he's on his last leg. He's playing well though with that. Good shit, man. Good fight. Very good fight. All right, moving on to our final battle, and I didn't know I had gotten into the match. I was reading my Discord. <laughs> uh, where, what ring do I need? There we go. Okay. Sorry there, sir. I'm glad you were patient with me at the beginning, though. I know I wasn't. I don't know how long I was standing there, to be honest. <laughs> Hello there, sir. One, two, three. I thought I'd get him with the third hit swing. I haven't got a backstab this arena yet. Everyone keeps avoiding me. I kind of want to see his backstab damage. You're a pyro also? What the hell kind of build? <laughs> I just wanted to see if he'd go for the parry or not. He did not. Let's just do this. And possibly this. Okay. He's a foo king. Yeah. It's a real appropriate name, sir. Real kind. Ah, uh, there's the trade. Oof. GG, dude. Good fight, though, man. Very good fight. Thank you for waiting at the beginning. <laughs> GG. Oh, and this is where we get the invasion? Okay. I'm okay with this. Honestly, this is cool. Uh, you know what? We'll still stick with the Leo ring. I want to test more its damage output. Okay, now. I kind of want to be really sure that he's this way. Otherwise, we're kind of stuck. Elden Ring, please have less, like, get trapped map design. Oh, hello, dude. Hey, man. Weepon! Oh my god, and that guy's just gliding. Okay, well. So we got Dark Moonblade. Uh, Murky? <laughs> He's probably gonna heal, too. Or maybe, maybe he has some honor. It's hard to say. Murky's usually the, the iconic. Oof. Oh, he had regen. Good fight, man. I should have realized that, actually. Well, I don't even know if I can fight this guy. He's kind of just gliding. Dark Souls has had interesting connections lately. Okay, we'll just go with the trade one, since everything might be a trade. You never know. <laughs> well, we got a lag simulator for you boys. I'll try to roll catch all his panic rolls. And I think I'm doing it. Except for that one right there. I think he's dead, dude. I think he's dead. <laughs> well. Let's <laughs> try it. It's okay, man. It's okay. He's gonna, he's gonna die soon. He died in his game. A little lesson for you guys. If you kill someone lagging like this, uh, they'll disconnect eventually. But they did die. It's just that the connection's so bad that, yeah. <laughs> just disconnects you after. All right, boys, those are all the battles that I have for you for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. I actually like this weapon a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. It, it has deceptive damage and range. I was roll catching a lot uh, better than I thought I would. I thought it would have less range than the mace, but it seems very similar, to be honest, if not better. And it's got thrust damage, so it, it does more damage overall if you trade. It doesn't really have many negative points. You could even pair it with... Uh, do I have an S-Stock on this build? I do. And then you could get the thrust damage still with a, a pretty decent speed weapon. And it combos for sure. I forget someone made a video on this. I forget. I'm blanking. I'm sorry. Shout out to that dude <laughs> for S-Stock this combo. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment other weapons below you'd like to see and I'll try to get to them as fast as I can.
And yeah, thanks for watching, boys. Have a good night.